Hi, Michelle Lee here with Michelle Lee Coaching, and I support ambitious driven executive women to make greater impact and make more money without sacrificing your values, your authenticity, or your femininity. And I felt inspired to jump in here and share with you one of the major mistakes I see women make that undermines their success, their career success, and their financial success as well as their personal success and how to stop doing that. And what that is, is comparing your insides with other people's outsides. And what I mean by this is ultimately comparing. When you compare yourself with someone else, when you look at someone and say, wow, they have it so much more together than I do. I always feel like I'm catching up or I always feel like I'm rushing around and I'm never ahead of the game. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're actually comparing how you feel to how somebody else looks when ultimately you have no idea how they are feeling. So it's really an unfair comparison for yourself and for the other person. This does two things that undermines your success. One, it, it erodes at your self-confidence. If you are comparing yourself, how you feel compared to how somebody else looks, I'm sure many people have told you, man, you've always got it together. But on the inside, you have a little bit of that imposter syndrome. You're worried that you're gonna be found out. What happens when, when you feel this way, you undermine yourself because two of the major three key pieces to your success is visibility and connection. And when you compare your feelings to how somebody else appears, you undermine your connection. You automatically put a wall between yourself and that other person because you don't feel good enough. Even if you compare your insides with their outsides and you feel better than that other person, then you're still building a wall of separation. And with the three pillars of your success, two of those pillars being visibility and connection, you want to be able to connect with as many people in the workplace as possible. And so when you compare and you create separation, you make it more difficult for you to connect with them for whatever reason. You don't feel ready to reach out to them or you don't feel like you're good enough to reach out to them. And energetically, that other person feels that as well too. Also what this does is it undermines your visibility because unconsciously, when you make that comparison and you feel less than that other person, there's a part of you that's going to hide. There's a part of you that's saying, well, I'm not ready to be fully visible yet. And so for those two reasons, that comparison is really undermining the two key pieces that are so important to your success, that connection and visibility. So here's what you do instead. When you catch yourself going into that comparison mode, automatically just make a connection with that person. Internally, what I do and what I teach my clients is to assume that if you're feeling a sense of insecurity, there's a good chance that other person is too. So what if you made it your responsibility to make that person feel at ease in whatever situation it is? Maybe you're networking, maybe you're in a, you're in a business meeting, maybe you're at a team building meeting. If you make it your goal, as if you're the hostess of a party, to make every person feel comfortable, you are going to build that connection that is key to your advancement. And already you're building that connection and you're going to become more visible. You're going to have a powerful presence because people will feel safe with you. They will trust you. And when you build that wall, you do absolutely the opposite. So when you go into that comparison mode, see that as a point to assume that maybe that person feels the discomfort as well. Don't believe what the outside is telling you. You know that we can look a certain way and feel completely different. I hope this is helpful. I will see you next time.
Bye for now.